Hello, and welcome to Delaware Valley University's Founders Ceremony. I'm Ben Russelowski, and I have the pleasure and privilege of serving DelVal as its Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the Faculty. While the COVID-19 pandemic continues to force us to conduct this annual event in a rather different manner, it has not altered our commitment to our core values, including acting as one learning community with one purpose. Today, as a united learning community, we will recognize and honor our heritage, as well as the outstanding accomplishments of students, faculty, and staff. We are, and we remain, DelVal Strong. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you our president, Dr. Maria Gallo. Good afternoon and welcome to Founders Day, our annual celebration of the outstanding achievements of Delaware Valley University students, faculty, and staff. This month marks the launch of the 125th anniversary of our institution. Our theme is celebrating 125 years of experiential education. While experiential education is a common buzzword in higher education today, it was not 125 years ago. We believe, in fact, that DelVal was the first academic institution founded on this principle which Joseph Kroskoff called Science with Practice. Our E360 program is not simply an internship like many schools have, but an immersive experience that starts on day one and is integrated throughout our curricula. Our determination to tirelessly strive to accomplish Dr. Kroskoff's vision is a tribute not only to him but to everyone at DelVal who has led us in this direction over the years, including and especially those who are with us today. And so I thank our award recipients for your contributions to our great university, and I congratulate you for your achievements. You inspire and serve as role models for others, and your efforts make a difference. We are a stronger and better institution because of your presence with us. It is now my pleasure to turn the program over to Dr. Russellowski to begin the recognition ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, President Gallo. We now recognize members of Delaware Valley University's various honor societies. Alpha Lambda Delta is the Freshman Honor Society. It acknowledges first-year students who earned a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher during their first semester of study. Delta Tau Alpha is the National Agriculture Honor Society. The organization promotes and recognizes scholarship and leadership accomplishments of agricultural students while emphasizing character development, enhancing undergraduate preparation for professional positions, and joining with other agricultural students' organizations in the promotion of agriculture. Lambda Pi Eta is the National Communication Association's official honor society. It recognizes outstanding student scholars in communication. Sigma Beta Delta, the International Honor Society for Business Management and Administration, encourages and recognizes scholarship and achievement among students of business management and administration. It further promotes personal and professional improvement and a life distinguished by honorable service to humankind. Tau Sigma is a national transfer honor society eligible to all transfer students who have achieved a minimum 3.5 grade point average during their first semester. The Order of Omega is a leadership honor society for members of Greek organizations which recognizes juniors and seniors who have demonstrated excellence in scholarship, leadership, and involvement on and off campus. Members represent the top 3% of students on campus. Congratulations to all members of our honor societies. It is now my pleasure to introduce David Duda, 
the Director of Athletics, to present the Frank Wolfgang Scholar Athlete Awards. Thank you, Ben. The Frank Wolfgang Scholar Athlete Award is presented each year on behalf of the athletic department to two senior student athletes that epitomize a Division III athlete. A Division III student athlete discovers, develops their potential, and dedicates themselves through participating in a competitive athletic environment while most importantly maintaining academic success and garnering life skills that will serve them after college. Teamwork, leadership, sportsmanship, social interaction, and community service are just some of the qualities we look to promote in all of our student athletes. An academic standard of a 3.0 cumulative GPA is required for eligibility for the Frank Wolfgang Award. It is my pleasure on the behalf of the entire athletic department to present this year's Frank Wolfgang Scholar Athlete recipients. From the women's soccer team, Sarah Young, and a member of both baseball and football teams, Timmy Lallis. Sarah and Timmy have each been named to the MAC Academic Honor Roll every year, and both serve as executive members of our Student Athlete Advisory Committee. Through SAC, they lead many philanthropic efforts for our athletes throughout this year, including clothing and toy drives, 50-50 raffles, D3 Week, and more. Sarah Young is a four-year letter winner with the women's soccer team and will graduate this May with a degree in counseling psychology and a GPA of 3.6. The past two years, she was voted by her peers to serve as president of SAC, a role that she excelled in as a leader and developed organizational and leadership qualities that will serve her career beyond graduation. Additionally, she has served as a team manager for men's lacrosse, a ambassador, and a student worker on campus. On the field, Sarah was the team's leading scorer the last two seasons. She became known for her long distance goals as she beat the keeper from near midfield on multiple occasions. She scored three game winning goals in her career and is a team leader from her midfield position. Timmy Lallis is an exceptional student athlete who has maintained a GPA above 3.7. He already completed his undergraduate degree and is now pursuing his MBA in business while being a key contributor for two teams. On the football field, Timmy plays a critical role as the placeholder on special teams and has been a member of three MAC championship teams. On the diamond, he just finished one of his best seasons and ranks among the top players in the conference in hits and batting average. With 34 hits in 27 games this season, Timmy now has over 100 career hits. When he's not on the green iron or tracking down fly balls, Timmy serves as the D3 week rep for SAC, organizing a week-long celebration of our student athletes with charity work and engaging program. It is my pleasure to present this year's Frank Wolfgang Senior Scholar Athletes Founders Day Award to Sarah Young and Timmy Lallis. At this time, I'd like to introduce Stephen Hinkle, President of Student Government Board. My name is Stephen Hinkle, and I'm the current president of Delaware Valley University's Student Government Board. Being a part of SGB has been one of my favorite things that I have experienced over the past three years. And today, I have the honor of presenting three Founders Day Service Awards on behalf of SGB. These awards are given annually to members of the community who have made outstanding contributions to the SGB and the student body. One will be given to a member of administration, faculty, and staff. Our first recipient is a member of the administration who every student can recognize as a valuable resource to the students on campus. Pat Callahan is someone who is always willing to help students with any concerns that may arise during the school year. As the Director of Facilities and Grounds at Delaware Valley University, Mr. Callahan is always trying to keep our campus clean and up to date. 
He responds promptly and quickly to any campus concerns that may arise during our usual SGB meetings. He is someone who wants Del Val to be the best it can possibly be. Mr. Callahan is always open to suggestions and feedback from the students on campus about how Del Val can achieve its fullest potential. It is because of these acts that the Student Government Board is proud to honor Pat Callahan with the SGB Administration Founders Day Service Award. Our second recipient is a member of the faculty who's dedicated to their role as a professor and also as a mentor to her students. Dr. Shelley is a devoted small animal science professor who's willing to go out of her way to help her students understand the curriculum. She encourages her students to learn the material and not just memorize it. Dr. Shelley is also an advisor to many students present on campus. In this role, she helps students discover what truly makes them happy and possibly pursue as a future career choice. On the side, she also partakes in small veterinary medicine at a local clinic while fulfilling her duties at Delaware Valley University. She has made an impact on many students' lives, including mine. She's helped me succeed and discover who I truly am as a person. Because of this, I am proud to be awarding her with this year's SGB Faculty Founders Day Service Award. Our last recipient today is a member of the staff at Delaware Valley University. While being fairly new to campus, many students have still interacted with her and have found her to be a good-natured and willing to help out and make positive changes to Del Bell in any way possible. She's a new member to the team at Delaware Valley University's dining hall, but has made a wide impact on campus since she has been welcomed on. It is because of these things she has made connections with so many students throughout the campus. Jillian Calhoun is more than just the marketing manager for Del Bell's dining hall. She's a friend to all students and takes the time to hear feedback concerning the dining hall, while also developing strategies to make the dining hall even better. This is why it is my pleasure and honor to award Ms. Calhoun with this year's SGB Staff Founders Day Service Award. This concludes the presenting of three Founders Day Service Awards on behalf of the Student Government Board. I now turn it back to Dr. Rusalowski. Thank you. Stephen. The deans will now be presenting the Departmental Achievement Awards for each school. The Departmental Achievement Awards, which are chosen by the faculty of each academic department, are given to outstanding graduating seniors with a cumulative grade point average of 3.2 who have demonstrated effective leadership and good citizenship during their time at Delaware Valley University. The criteria for this award includes leadership among one's peers, academic success in the classroom, and at standing engagement on and off campus. Dr. Brock Sandelin, Dean of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, will announce the Departmental Achievement Awards from the School of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences. Thank you, Dr. Rosalowski. It is my pleasure to recognize the Departmental Achievement Awards from the School of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences. From the Department of Agribusiness, Kate Bokin. From the Department of Animal Science, Nina Delarte. From the Department of Equine Science and Management, Emily Aikamp. From the Department of Food Science, Nutrition and Management, Morgan Davis. From the Department of Plant Science and Landscape Architecture, Isabella De Maria. Congratulations to you all. Dr. Tony, Dr. Tony Costas, Dean of Business and Humanities, will now present the awards from the School of Business and Humanities. Thank you, Dr. Sant Sandalin. It is my pleasure to recognize the Departmental Achievement Awards from the School of Business and Humanities. From Business and Information Management, Susanna Pankowska. From the Department of Counseling Psychology, Ezri Lutz. From Criminal Justice, Sarah Agins. From Education, Joshua, Joshua Bethard. From English, Layla Danis. Congratulations. Dr. Jean Smolin, Dean of Life and Physical Sciences, 
will announce the Departmental Achievement Awards from the School of Life and Physical Sciences. Thank you, Dr. Casas. It's my pleasure to announce and recognize the Departmental Achievement Awards from the School of Life and Physical Sciences. From the Department of Animal Biotechnology and Conservation, Lydia Anderson Dearborn. From the Department of Biology, Tiara Dwight. Congratulations to you all. Dr. Rosolowski will now recognize our university scholars. Thank you, Dr. Smolin. We now recognize our university scholars who are graduating seniors and who have achieved dean's list for all semesters at Del Val with a minimum of four semesters while maintaining an overall grade point average of 3.5 or higher. Congratulations to everyone. Dr. John Wisnicki, Dean of Graduate Studies, will now present the Graduate School Scholar Award. Thank you, Dr. Rosalowski. I have the distinct pleasure to announce the Graduate School Scholar Award for 2021. This year's recipient is Melissa Robesey. Melissa embodies the ideals of Delaware Valley University's founders. Her experiences as a graduate student in criminal justice program provides ample evidence of this. Melissa is a 19-year veteran of the Army National Guard, specializing in chemical warfare and is the Community Relations Officer at the Middletown Township Police Department. In her roles, Melissa clearly demonstrates respect for all people and an active use of her coursework to advance the initiatives of her department and the broader community. Using her professional experience as a platform, she regularly engages in course-related dialogue wherein she is learning, teaching, and serving with passion and commitment. Melissa has enthusiastically engaged with the community as she serves to strengthen law enforcement's bond with the public. For example, she organizes and executes one of the largest national nights out in Bucks County, typically drawing 2,000 visitors. This event is a fundraiser for the Shop with a Cop event an event that was instituted by Melissa in Middletown Township five years ago and grew from 36 kids in the first year to 526 kids in 2020. Last year, she was able to help raise $121,000 in support of this event. She is also the police liaison for the Youth Aid Panel an alternative to the formal criminal justice system for minor offenses committed by juveniles. Her panel was recently recognized for their professional work with these youth and their families. Melissa is also one of the managers for the department's accreditation process. The police department just received its fourth successful accreditation in very early 2021 from the Pennsylvania Law Enforcement Accreditation Commission. Melissa clearly pursues excellence in all that she does and is committed to translating what she learns in class to effect positive change in her community. She is a worthy representative and recipient of this award. Please join me in congratulating Melissa Robinson. I would like to turn the proceedings over to Dr. Vary present the Champion of Diversity and Inclusion Award. Thank you, Dr. Wisnicki. 
On behalf of the President's Commission on Diversity and Inclusion, I'm pleased to have the opportunity to present the Champion of Diversity and Inclusion Award. The award, which was established in 2019, is intended to serve as a tangible expression of our core value to respect all people. This award celebrates members of the DelVal community who have demonstrated a commitment to bring diversity and inclusion into our shared experience. Students, faculty, staff, and organizational units across campus are eligible for consideration. This year's recipient represents the very best of what higher education has the opportunity to do, which is to bring the expertise of faculty to bear to examine and discuss complex issues. Over the course of the past year, 17 members of our faculty contributed to the School of Business and Humanities Question It, Change It colloquium series on racism in the United States. The series was designed as a forum for the broader DelVal community to engage in informed and in guided conversations. The participating faculty in the School of Business and Humanities presented lectures addressing racism from the lens of their respective disciplines facilitated discussion, and provided resources to deepen our understanding of racism and how to take action against it. Topics addressed included white privilege, monuments and memorials, language, media, popular culture, civics and capitalism, public health, teaching and curriculum, immigration, and crime and criminal justice, all viewed through the lens of systemic racism. The Commission wants to thank those who contributed their talent and expertise to this year-long educational enterprise. Those involved include Michael Stamps, David Timoney, Jess McCall, Craig Stutman, Brian Lutz, Audrey Irvin, Linda Mazel, Lonnie Udvardi, Katie Carnaval, Claire Drillet, Christy Smith, Will Turner, Matt Mutchler, Bill Veal, Jay Shisei Su. Tanya Casas, and Christine Seal. Thank you all for your efforts and engagement and for helping our campus to value the world of ideas and difference. I'd now like to turn the proceedings over to Jennifer Brennan for a Staff Member of the Year Award. I have the pleasure of announcing the John Herbst Staff Member Year of the Award. John Herbst was a Delaware Valley University employee for many years, following his retirement from a career as an engineer. Known for his love of the university, John is remembered as a kind man, a caring, gentle, and accomplished man to whom self-direction and initiative came naturally. John worked here in the maintenance department as a volunteer on many projects, but primarily those that involved woodworking, cabinetry, and repair. When John Herbst passed away, the faculty and staff organized a tribute to the person widely recognized as the most patient on campus. The walkway between the Aaron Building and Mandel near Lake Archer was named passionately in his honor. He was also the first to be honored with the Staff Member of the Year Award, which later would be named in his honor. Please join me in congratulating Marie Francois Lewis, this year's recipient of the Staff Member of the Year Award. I have known and enjoyed working with Marie for many years and find her capacity to find solutions to a wide variety of challenges to be amazing. Marie just knows. This is what one nominator wrote about Marie Francois Lewis, Administrative Coordinator, who has worked at DelVal for 10 years. They continued stating, her approach to getting things done is no nonsense, unless of course the nonsense allows for humor to ease the process forward. Over the years, she has been our interface with the Pennsylvania Horticulture Society as we work on the flower show. This is not always easy as the deadlines approach and communications are occasionally tenuous, but she is persistent with both us as faculty and them as the organizers to get everything done. Another nominator wrote, Marie has a gentle and welcoming attitude which allows our department members to approach her with questions and concerns asking for advice and suggestions to solve all sorts of issues, from academic matters to facilities management, supplies, and janitorial issues. Her vast knowledge about the history and the ins and outs of DelVal, together with her self-initiative and generous attitude, make Marie an invaluable resource for new members of our community, this nominator summed up, stating, 
I think the John Herbst Memorial Staff Member of the Year Award suits Ms. Marie Francois Lewis perfectly because she embodies all the fundamental qualities at the core of this award. I will now turn the program back over to Dr. Wasilowski. Thank you, Jennifer. I now have the pleasure of announcing the Distinguished Faculty Member Award. The Distinguished Faculty Member Award is the most prestigious faculty award at Delaware Valley University. Members of the faculty nominate deserving colleagues for the award in recognition of outstanding performance. The criteria are teaching excellence, availability to students through advising and co-curricular activities, and contributions to the university community, both on and off campus. Nominees are then asked to present portfolios, which include philosophy of teaching, professional achievements, and testimonials from students, alumni, and fellow colleagues. It is my pleasure to announce and acknowledge the 2021 recipient of the Distinguished Faculty Member Award, Dr. Brian Lutz, Associate Professor of English. Brian's nominator said that Brian receives rave reviews from his students regarding his teaching excellence. Not only are his classes highly sought after, but he has also been recognized by multiple students for teaching them skills that go well beyond the classroom. His play studies course, for example, has had such an impact that many students have chosen to take the course and participate in the accompanying study abroad experiences multiple times. Students report that Brian has helped them think more critically about their education, their worldview, and themselves. Brian is also able to make his discipline accessible to students from a variety of majors and backgrounds. Zoo science majors, animal science, business majors, and many others have all taken his literature and creative writing courses. The subject of English often carries worry and concern for students who have been told in the past that they are perhaps just not good at it. And Brian's ability to provide a safe learning environment that encourages imagination, critical reflection, and bravery is what he makes education all about for every one of his students in bringing those barriers down. Brian's teaching philosophy follows a pedagogy of adaptive rigor that assumes four things. One, education works best in a communicative environment of shared responsibility and goals. Two, knowledge is a verb, not a noun. Three, all teaching is local. And four, everyone can and should have some fun in the process. Above all else, Brian tries to encourage in his students the curiosity and desire to always ask the simple question, why? Brian's excellence in the classroom is equally matched by his excellence as a scholar who publishes and presents his research regularly at regional and national meetings and whose poetry is published routinely in several nationally acclaimed poetry journals. In fact, Brian was the Poet Laureate of Bucks County in 2003. Brian also serves the institution in a number of voluntary and elected roles, including faculty counsel and as coordinator of interdisciplinary studies. Congratulations again to Dr. Brian Lutz, recipient of the 2021 Distinguished Faculty Member Award. Dr. Berry will now present the Founders Award. Each year, we recognize an outstanding member of the senior class with the Founders Award. The award is given to a student who has demonstrated leadership ability, serving as a role model for their peers, as they represent the core values of a Del Val education. I would like to thank Dr. Ben Rosalowski, Mr. Andrew Moyer, and Ms. Christine Seal, last year's recipient of the Distinguished Faculty Member Award, for serving with me as the selection committee. Our seven finalists this year are among the most engaged and talented students on our campus. We thank those members of our community who took the time to nominate these students and to recognize their contributions, and so I'd like to share a little bit about each. Our finalists this year were Lydia Anderson Dearborn. Lydia is graduating with a major in small animal science and an impressive list of ways in which she extended her classroom education through student research and through serving faculty as a lab assistant. 
She's been a peer mentor supporting our new students and active in the life of our honor societies, including Alpha Lambda Delta and Delta Tau Alpha. Lydia's sights are set on vet school and we wish her well in that endeavor. Michelle Larkin. Michelle is graduating with an animal science major and an equine science minor. She has an impressive list of experiences with animal care and veterinary facilities to complement her education. Michelle has been an active presence on campus with involvement in student government as a peer mentor, or ambassador, holding executive roles in the pre-veterinary club and on the Western and Hunt Seat equestrian teams. Tiara Dwight. Tiara is graduating with a BS in biology and secondary education and will have a bright future as a teacher. She has applied her education as a camp assistant with Del Valle's Kids U program, assisting with the lesson planning for the weekly science curriculum. As an RA and as escort and sidekick to our mascot Caesar at athletic events, Tiara has been engaged and visible on campus with roles in Minority Relations Council, Black Student Union, and Alpha Lambda Delta Honor Society. Rose Alicock. Rose is graduating with a degree in secondary English education. She has applied her skills and love of writing to assist her peers as a tutor in the writing center. Rose has a diverse array of activities she has supported with her leadership, including Colleges Against Cancer, American Association of University Women, Omega Chi, Intergreek Council, All Text Society, and Minority Relations Council. Our country needs all the good teachers we can find, and Rose will surely be among them. Christian Anderson. Christian is a biology pre-vet major and after graduation will be off to the University of Edinburgh in Scotland for vet school in preparation for a career with the Army Veterinary Corps. On campus, Christian has been an active member on student government board, serving as liaison to the academic standards and curriculum committee. He's been class treasurer, member of the soccer club, president of fellowship of Christian athletes, and held office in the pre-veterinary club. Ashlyn Carmen. Ashlyn transferred to Del Val and we're fortunate to have had the benefit of her work ethic, involvement, and commitment. In addition to work responsibilities that command much of her time, Ashlyn has made a 3.9 GPA, been involved with and an officer in the soccer club, is a valued volunteer with the Counseling Psychology Program, and has been recognized for her academic strengths with numerous scholarships. Sarah Young. Sarah is graduating with a degree in counseling psychology with plans for a master's in school counseling with the goal of being an elementary school guidance counselor. She's been a leader and presence in our athletic department as a member of the women's soccer team, president of the student athletic advisory committee, and manager for the men's lacrosse team. She's a ambassador and a volunteer with the graduate counseling psychology program. Thank you to all of our finalists for your many and varied contributions to our Del Val. During our interviews, you each spoke in your own way and in your own voice about how humbled you were to be considered for this award. We assure you that we were the ones humbled and indeed inspired by the personal stories of transformation that you shared and by your love for this university. Each of you in your own way is leaving Del Val a little bit better than when you found it, and in our book, that's leadership. You have led and excelled in classrooms and laboratories, on fields and courts of play and in fields of harvest, in our farms and barns and stalls, in our residence halls, our spaces for worship and for the performing arts, in clubs and organizations, and in our local community. You've been leaders and exemplars in your campus workplaces, and you have been role models for your peers. Each year, those of us who serve on this selection committee come away inspired, moved, and honestly re-energized about our core mission, which is our students. I truly wish every member of our community could sit in on our interviews. There are inevitably some good laughs and moving stories about the transfor transformational impact Del Val has had, almost always born from some experience, whether large or small, that set these students on a wonderful adventure of maturation and discovery. We know the future will be extraordinarily bright for each of you as you go out into the world as ambassadors of Delaware Valley University. This year, the committee faced an incredibly difficult task. I say that every year at this time and every year it's true. From our impressive list of finalists, we face the daunting prospect of selecting just one recipient of this year's award. 
This year's recipient of the Founders Award has touched many areas of the university through their engagement and leadership, leaving, it seems, no, on, no opportunity unexplored for what it might teach. In our interview, our recipient was able to capture so well that Del Val is a special place with a special student body. And our recipient knew it was the place for her or when, during a campus visit as a high school student, she attended a demonstration being led by a faculty member and was immediately handed a goat leg to dissect. She was expecting a lecture or maybe that the faculty member would do a demonstration and simply show students what to do. But no, she got the full treatment, a goat leg in hand, and she thought, if this is an institution that trusts students this much, this is the place for me. What she got was experiential learning, and she was hooked, and we're all the beneficiaries of her time with us. As a longtime and dedicated RA and as president of Black Student Union, she has created relationships, programs, and initiatives that matter. And so, for significantly leading by example, and stellar citizenship within our community, it's my pleasure to recognize Tiara Dwight as this year's recipient of the Founders Award. Congratulations, Tiara, and to all of our finalists. Dr. Russellowski will now present the final award. Thank you, Dr. Berry. The Presidential Scholar Award is given to a graduating senior with the highest cumulative grade point average. This year, we have three recipients who are tied for this honor. Our first co-recipient hails from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. She is an equine management business major who is in the honors program and is graduating with a bachelor's degree in only three years. While at Del Val, she has been a member of Alpha Lambda Delta and Delta Tau Alpha Honor Societies, a member and past president of FFA and serves as the current captain of the Western team. The recipient noted that Carol Ritchie is a professor who inspired her as she encourages her students to pursue greatness while remaining approachable. She mentioned that Carol has motivated her to achieve greatness every day with a smile on her face and laughter in her spirit. She's currently enrolled in DelVal's 4 Plus 1 program and is working towards a master's in managerial management and organization. After graduating, she plans to work with an international equine transport company in order to expand her network and her perspective. She eventually wants to have her own Western-based equine training and behavioral correction business. Please join me in congratulating Emily Aukamp, co-recipient of the 2021 Presidential Scholar Award. Our second co-recipient hails from Sinaloa, Mexico, but currently lives in Warrington with her husband and her dog. She is a counseling psychology major. She chose Del Val because she believes the counseling psychology program is among the greatest. The recipient noted that Dr. Brianna Morgus was a professor who inspired her to be a better student. Dr. Morgus' class was her all-time favorite. She also noted her E360 experience had so many benefits, and it teaches all students the essential skills for success in their futures. She is passionate about helping and caring for children and her aspiration is to become a child life specialist in a pediatric hospital. Please join me in congratulating Veronica Baje, co-recipient of the 2021 Presidential Scholar Award. The third co-recipient hails from Richboro, Pennsylvania. He received his degree in counseling psychology from Del Val in August. He chose Del Val because of the excellent reputation of the counseling psychology program. At the time, he aspired for a career working in addiction recovery, and Del Val's program was the best fit for his goals. He said that the education he received far exceeded his expectations. The recipient noted he most owes his success to Dr. Matthew Muchler. Thanks to the high standard he held the recipient to, as well as the incredible support and encouragement, Dr. Muchler helped him set the pace early on for the rest of his time in the program. He is most passionate about helping others, addiction recovery, and music. Because of the encouragement and guidance from the amazing faculty at Del Val, he figured out how to incorporate all three into a career that makes him jump out of bed every morning. The recipient currently works as a music specialist at Eagleville Hospital and plans to pursue a graduate degree. Please join me in congratulating Richard White co-recipient of the 2021 
Presidential Scholar Award. Thank you all for being with us today. Congratulations to everyone. Stay well, stay safe, and stay Del Val strong. Thank you.